So the next thing we want to do is basically get our WooCommerce product. Okay. So for that, we need to create a custom endpoint where we can fetch all of the data from our WordPress. Okay. Now there are two things that we can do. If you go to the WooCommerce REST API and if you go to products and list all the products, you can see that the products will be available at this REST endpoint. Now you have different options. Either you can fetch data at this endpoint or you can also use a package in Node uh, which is called I think that's WooCommerce. Let's have a look. So this package is called WooCommerce API. So you can use this package. So all we have to do is just install it. So I'll stop the server and I'll say npm install WooCommerce API. And uh, since we're going to be creating our custom endpoint, uh, what we will need to do is we will need to create a custom server. Now we can create a custom server using Express. So Next.js already provides us information how to do that. You can see that you can create the custom server like this. So let's go ahead and do that. So for this, we'll create a file called server.js into the root directory. And we're going to require next. And then we'll require express. And then let's say we want to serve this on port number 3000. So we'll just mention that over here, port number 3000. Okay. And then we will set this up. So over here, we are checking if the node environment is not production, then the value should be true. And we're going to go ahead and create an app using next. And we pass this uh, dev information here. Okay, and then we also go ahead and create a constant called handle. Okay, and we use app dot get request handler. The reason why we do this is so that uh, if there are any routes that are not defined by Express, all of the rest of the routes can be handled by Next.js. Okay, so now we're going to prepare our app. So app dot prepare, and then inside of this or outside we can say then. So this returns a promise, and inside of the promise we can define our express application. So we can say server is equal to uh, express function. Okay. So we create an instance of express application. Okay. Now we can say that server dot get so all of the routes that are not defined over here should go should be handled by next yes okay so for that you get promise you get request and response over here and inside of this we can say app dot handle uh, app dot render actually I think sorry this is going to be returned return handle and that's going to be request and response okay and then we just need to listen to a port on a port so we can say server server dot listen on the port number that we have defined on top okay and uh, this is throw an error if that doesn't work and if there's an error so if error mm -hmm. then throw error okay otherwise just console log that our application is ready on port 3000 so we just put the port number dynamically over here using backtick and then we put this variable here okay and then we also catch if there's any error so i'm just going to paste that over here 
so if this fails then it's just going to console log the error and just exit okay so now what we've done over here is we have gone ahead and uh, define our express application over here and use the server.get and over here we are checking if there are any routes that are not defined using express then that will be handled by your uh, next yes okay so this is the place we are going to define our custom route endpoint for woocommerce so if you check over here they have given an example right here so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to require woocommerce api and since we've already installed that we can just use that okay so const woocommerce api and then require and then you need to define all of these values so say const woocommerce then you have woocommerce api it's asking for the url where your uh, wordpress for the wordpress so minus localhost 3000 wordpress sorry it's so that's my wordpress url you will put yours over here now it needs consumer key and consumer secret and this is the information you're going to get in your wordpress okay so let me just install this so what you'll do is you'll go to woocommerce then go to settings and then you go to advanced and then go to rest api once you go in there it will give you an option to create api key so you click on this and then just put anything over here for example woocommerce react theme okay and then give permission for both read and write uh, if you only want to display the products then you will you can just read but if you want to go ahead and make changes in your wordpress uh, then you will do read and write for example if you want to uh, go ahead and create an order etc so we'll generate api key and you can take this information from here now you're not going to put this information statically over here because you know if you're going to push this project to, to git so you can create a file over here and you can call it woo config and you can say const woo config is equal to and then there are two information that we need so we need the consumer key so we'll put consumer key over here and then we also need the consumer secret so we'll put consumer secret okay and then we can also define the url dynamically so we can just say site url and we can just paste this right here okay and then since this is a common js module all we have to do is just export uh, sorry module dot exports will config uh, okay and then we just need to require it inside of server.js so we can say boo config is equal to require boo config and then we can use those values right here so boo config dot site url and boo config dot consumer key config dot consumer secret okay and we can take this information we can copy this part and now we can put that into this file and this one as well paste it here okay now we need to define the endpoint 
so you can see that we can define the endpoint by let's have a look if you go to WooCommerce uh, REST API site you can see you have an option to say WooCommerce.get and then this one and this will give you the response okay so what I can do is uh, I can go to server.js and I can create a route over here we can say server.get and we want our products to be available on the URL which is slash get products and this will give me request and response and inside of this we can call this so earlier next years was handling all of the routing but since now we are going ahead and listing on uh, using the express we, what we will do is we will go to package.json and instead of saying next over here we can say nodemon server.js so we're going to run server.js and we also need to install nodemon so let's do that npm install nodemon so nodemon is going to go ahead and serve the server.js file in a watch mode so if there are any changes it can pick it up and it can show that immediately okay so installing and then we can start the server so npm run dev so what this is going to do is this is going to run our server.js file using node mod. okay and in the server.js file we are already uh, creating an express server and we are running it on port 3000 yeah excellent and we'll do response.json and using json pass we're going to pass the response okay uh, okay we have this as response so now if i go on to url which is get products and since we're already running a server on port 3000 so localhost 3000 uh, slash get products we should be able to see all of these products okay so let's say get products and if i search that you can see that it's returning all of our products in JSON format. You have the product ID, uh, product name, and um, the price, and it's got all of the images, etc. Okay, you can you can see that you've got the images as, as well. So all we have to do is just access this URL into the onto the front end and just display all of the products. Okay.